Comb. Now, when thinking of traits that would make for a successful relationship, toxicity is definitely something many would avoid. But for Hikaru Gero, his literal toxicity is something he hopes can be overlooked when seeking love in the manga Marriage Toxin, written by Jomyaku and drawn by Mizuki Yoda. As you can see, Gero is an assassin, one from a highly elite clan of assassins who specialize in all forms of poison. And as a clan of such legacy, they wanted to continue. Originally, the Poison Clan was going to force Gero's sister Akari to marry and birth the new heir of the clan. But with his sister Ori committed in a happy relationship with her girlfriend, Gero decides to step up to get married and continue the Poison Clan legacy. The only problem with that is that living most of his life in the criminal underworld, he doesn't have much people skills. The man was literally going to put that he works as an assassin on his online dating profile. To make matters worse, when he's off the job, he's a dorky klutz with an obsession with DIY candy kits. Luckily though, for Garo, he quickly finds someone that can help him out, though in a very unlikely spot. Which brings us to Mei Kinosaki, a marriage swindler who got in way over their head and is set to be killed by Garo. Though Garo is someone who only kills people he deems as human garbage and senses a kinder, impossibly loving soul in Kinosaki, and on the spot decides to make her a romantic target rather than an assassination one. But as it turns out, Kinosaki is actually a guy who utilizes his feminine appearance to scam rich people. With that, Gero decides to then make Kinosaki his personal dating coach, leading to all sorts of super assassin action and cute girls. The direction of the story here kind of reminds me of City Hunter, only a lot less horny and a lot more superpowered. Though after saying that, I realized that not many people would know about City Hunter. So shout out to City Hunter. And to better explain myself, the story structure here is kind of separated into mini arcs throughout the series, where Gero and Kinosaki will come across a potential love interest that eventually leads to some sort of fight with an assassin or assassins, who, by the way, in the world of Marriage Toxin, are all practically superhuman, most of which are specialists in certain gimmicks to help carry out their jobs. For Garo, as previously mentioned, he is a poison user. But then you also have water, prosthetics, sound, and even various animals ranging from bugs to hamsters. And let me tell you, these specialists take these gimmicks and go as far as they possibly can with them. You have a sound user that can use sounds to create illusions, and the eagle user can just get a bunch of eagles to line up and use them as a spear. It's truly crazy stuff, but thanks to all these off-the-wall abilities and tactics, the fights here are always engaging, as you can never safely predict what the next move from these enemy assassins will be. Like how during the sound user fight, Garo was bracing for a powerful sound attack when he pulls out a violin, only for the sound user to just throw it at Garo. It's just pretty wacky stuff, but very cool with lots of heavy hits and flashy moves. I seriously can't understate how many times this manga would surprise me with just how crazy these assassins can be. Honestly, even outside the action here, the manga can be pretty bizarre. While the series is funny enough with Garo's awkwardness on the dating scene, this manga is full of panels and sequences that are just so out there I couldn't help laughing. Of course, with a focus on meeting new girls, the girls of Marriage Toxin have been great so far, each having traits and interests that would make them a good match for Garo, and I love how we get special chapters that feature the back and forth text between Garo and the girls from previous arcs as it makes that aspect of the manga feel a lot more genuine, as these girls just aren't forgotten about after their arc. Gero is actively trying to get to know them, and these specials can feel really sweet and funny, as Gero is still pretty awkward through text. Though the main problem with all that is the series just introduced its best girl with Arashiyama, the previously mentioned hamster user, which, I mean, like, just look at her. How are you gonna top that off? There is a lot of assassin-themed manga out there, especially recently. But with marriage toxins, over-the-top super assassins, rom-com vibes, and cute girls, I definitely think it's one to check out. 
And with that, let's wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed it and decide to check out this manga if you haven't already. And if you have, tell me about it in the comments. It feels good to just do a single manga recommendation as I've noticed a lot of my manga videos as of lately have been these like big bundled videos, which I really enjoy making, but those take a little bit more time to edit. So I definitely want to return to these shorter single series focused videos. Speaking of which, the next video should hopefully be another volume of dark and underground tokusatsu movies, which have been pretty popular videos for the channel, but if you've missed out on those videos, definitely check them out, I'll link them down below. As always, I'm Mr. Falcon Punch, stay safe, and peace out.